it's uh, Friday morning. Um, about to get on my train through to uh, Boss, which goes all the way to Bergen, where I'm going to on Monday. But I'm staying over in Boss for a few nights. Um, decided to pay a little bit extra just for a bit of leg room, which has kind of been a theme on this trip. But that's quite expensive train. Um, I can get it a bit cheaper if you book it like 90 days in advance, but having only booked it like a week and a half in advance is quite expensive. But I look forward to it. It's going to be about five and a half hour trip, which is a long time, but it's meant to be one of the most scenic routes across Europe. So hopefully the weather holds up. It's meant to thunder today. I don't, although it would be quite cool to see all these fjords and like, thunder crash into the top of the, uh, the mountain. So maybe that's a bit unrealistic. We'll see. Cool. So uh, I'm in Voss now, so the train, um, that was great, the views and train were absolutely fantastic. Uh, you can just see the, the cables for the cable car behind me, and hopefully I'll be able to go up the gondola, gondola? I think gondola yeah. tomorrow, if not the day after. Um, so just going into the centre now, just to kind of see what's about, maybe go down to the big lake, and yeah, see what I can find. Here I am in Norway. A bit rainy. By this massive lake. You can see the fjord. Well. Here we are in Voss in Norway on a fairly rainy evening but still So this morning I'm going up that and then hopefully up to the gondola up into onto the top of the fjord to see what I'm assuming is going to be an insane 360 view and well let's just see what we, uh, what we can see shall we? See you when I'm up there or maybe on the way up. 
so because it's so quiet this time of year, I have my own gondola. <laughs> so it's it's just been by myself. Uh, so luckily that means if it falls and breaks, only I die, which is great. No more other casualties. But like already in the background, you can see the fjord. And the guy gave me a map for where to walk on the way around. Um, so, this is, I think the views are going to be not bad, I would say. Not bad, but we'll see when we get to the top. about to have a walk around now the guy said about two different routes he said just follow some sort of red tea and I'll be fine so try not to get lost and die up a Norwegian mountain but can't promise anything uh, we have the the old gondola here and it looks a lot less safe than the current one in the background you can see the current one the massive one and then you've got the tiny one so I would not want to have gone on the uh, original gondola because that would have just been terrifying but let's go and see what we can find it's a bit more like it rainy norway-ish top of a mountain not seen a human being in about 45 minutes. Could be dying soon. I think I'll be fine though, it's just a bit of rain. Uh, the path always seems to just kind of disappear. I've been off roading a lot to avoid uh, all like massive sludge pools and stuff. So I might end up in Sweden this rain, but we'll see. but I've managed to actually somehow stay on the path so I feel like I will survive this um, encounter uh, this is quite eerie though because you've got like as you go up the mountains obviously it's, cause it's already quite high I think it's like a thousand meters up you've got kind of clouds forming and you would normally be able to see well I would assume be well definitely you can just maybe just make it out the other fjord on the other side of the a valley but oh it's getting heavier raining but yeah let's get back to the gondola there's a restaurant at the top I'll get overcharged for the restaurant then I'll go and get dry so I uh, have been up to the top of the mountain I had my hike got very wet I had my uh, had my well lunch I don't know what I I always eat at weird meal times had the food as it's called it up uh, then I'm on my way back down but as you can see it's a bit more cloudy now, so where you should be able to see um, a valley and a fjord and a mountain, you can see clouds and mist, which is a shame. But to be fair, when we go over the edge, I might be able to kind of just, just see the fjord down at the bottom, just about here. So you can see here there the old, um, the old gun, or maybe you can't, hold on a second. Yeah, you can see the old gondola. And, it just looks so weak compared to this one, I just would not want to go on it. So yeah, you can kind of see, so here, here is the little, the town of Voss. Um, and the big fjord, I'll probably find the name of this fjord, or the lake, I don't quite know if it's technically a fjord or a lake or both. But yeah, then you can see the way down down the cable car route 
down to the bottom.